Last few years, uh, I have found hard to keep grass in front of the cattle. I'd be trying to let them out fairly early in April, and with the way the weather would be coming, I'd have them out. Their stomachs would have changed, eating the grass, and to take them back in again and put in cattle, it took them an awful long time to come forward again. And with the wet weather, the paddocks were getting all ploughed up, and the ground was slow coming back into grass. And I had seen the zero grazer at the ploughing, and I'd done a good bit of checking on it. I went to farms that had it, and I got a positive feedback on it every farm I went to. So I decided I'd buy it. When I come back here in the morning, any bit of grass that's left, I just shove it in with the rake, up one side and down the other, shove it in with the rake, go back, start the tractor. All the fields, uh, the 22 acres that I am cutting, is relatively near the shed. And from the time I'd go out, and I'd be back in again with the trailer grass in about 20 minutes. And it only takes me about five minutes to shove it in each side. I started feeding on the 20th of March and I have 22 acres taken up for the zero grazer and there hasn't been a big bust of growth yet. That 22 acres is keeping these 80 cattle. One trailer of grass is doing them the day. The next morning when you come back there'll be very very little left. When the weather comes bad the cattle that's out between them dirtying the grass and tramping the grass you only get about 35% and I'm getting about 95% of the grass with the zero grazer. So you're nearly getting the equivalent of three acres bringing the grass in to one acre out. I know exactly how I am, so it makes the grass management an awful lot easier. Along with that, I won't have to be using as much bag manure and I'm utilizing my slurry an awful lot better. When I have a field cut, I can go out that day after I finished cutting the field and put out slurry that's thinned down and I have to be going with the bag as often. So I think there's an awful lot of, of gains with the zero grazer. I was told that the cattle have a great weight gain and looking at them since the 20th of March I started buying in uh, bullocks till today the cattle in the shed is putting on a kilo plus a day without meal and I'd be very happy with that. Up until now, I'd have been buying uh, a quality Wayneland and selling them at a forward store. What I'm doing now since I bought the Zero Grazer, I'm buying some of Wayneland's and I'm buying more Bullocks and I'd be finishing more of my cattle. And without a doubt, I can see they're doing awful, awful well. Well, anybody that I have been speaking to about the Zero Grazer, uh, I'd be saying to them, the peace of mind that I have, if you had 20 cattle in dry weather, uh, you'd get great use out of your ground. If it starts raining, the 20 cattle, it'd have it tramped in one night. Whereas this way, I'm doing absolutely no tramping and every animal I have is doing awful, awful well in the shed. And you couldn't do that out. It was constant worry, but now with the cattle I have in, I haven't a problem in the I haven't a problem in the world that way.